Hey everyone, Fire Princess here. You're watching Let's Play with Fire, and we are doing the Medieval Charter Challenge in Satbury. Today we will be playing with our first merchant family, the Crane family. This was a randomized uh, family set up how we did the other families. We unlocked him basically because we hit level 2 Hamlet for Satbury, so let's get started. All right, so this is our first merchant household. He has a pretty decent sized house. I did not make it, well I didn't make it in general, I downloaded it, but it is smaller than it could have been because he owns the weekly market and I wanted to save more of his money to be able to afford that community lot as opposed to having a nicer house. It still is a really nice house. He's able to read, so you can have a bookshelf. There's just his bank up here, um, the bathroom, the bedroom. He gets to start with a thousand simoleons. And then his downstairs area here. So the kitchen, the table, just a little sitting area. He does get some artwork. And then of course another bathroom over here and I gave him a little spot to grow some herbs for his own use because he is uh, a green thumb. So speaking of Crane, let's go take a look at him. This is Nickel Crane. He is the merchant and owner of week the weekly market. He's a knowledge sim with a family secondary. His personality, he's kind of more neat than sloppy. He's shy, active, serious, and grouchy. Yet another grouchy sim for Satberry. <laughs> I'm surprised there haven't been more fights yet. <laughs> then for his traits, he's a supernatural fan, clumsy, a green thumb, inappropriate, and dramatic. It is the first day of fall, so it's the harvest festival, so there is no reason for him to go work or anything. We'll go ahead and just wait for the welcome party to come in. One thing that he is next to is he's next to the alms house, so where all of the single females are at. So I'm hoping that some of them will come as his welcome wagon so that we can meet some potential future spouses. Ooh, look, it's uh, Tiffany Allington. She's one of the alms house ladies. Let's go say hi to her. She's obviously not part of the welcome wagon, but we can at least see if he has any sort of attraction with her. Start setting up his, uh... oh, <laughs> that's gonna be a hard no. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I don't think these two are going to work. He's insulting her. Wow. Starting off strong here. <laughs> it's like, welcome, welcome to my home. Let me just poke you and insult you. You, you want to stay here? <laughs> oh wow. You're pretty mean, Nickel Crane. My goodness. Let's see how you act with the visitors. Who do we have? Okay, so we have some almshouse ladies. We have uh, Redwood here. Uh, Bryce. We have Adelaide. So Adelaide's single and available. No, not really. She has the two chemistry with... <laughs> She's immediately annoying him. She knows that he's a grump. Uh... <laughs> At least Mally's trying to be nice to him. Let's see. I need to check him out, though. Or check her out. Oh, he doesn't like her either. He's like, uh, no. Oh, of course he has two chemistry with Adelaide. <laughs> She's already furious with Nicole. <laughs> At least he's getting along, along with Bryce. Bryce is just as grumpy too, maybe that's why they're okay. A oh, quick greet, Emma. Maybe you'll like her. Oh, 
Oh, Mally's crying. She is really nice. She shouldn't be here. <laughs> this is for, uh... No, don't let her go. Talk to her. You need all the help you can get. Ooh, you have some chemistry. Let's see. One. Meh. I'd rather wait for someone that he has two chemistry with. Oh, perfect. Look at that. They both like sports. So we're going to have to see which way this uh, takes us here with Adelaide. Because Adelaide has the military man that she has two chemistry with. And he's crushing on her. And then Nicole Crane has two chemistry with her. She is... Let's see, one station below merchant, so she is not of his status, but it would be an upgrade for her. It's it's possible still. <laughs> she doesn't want to hear it now. She's like, no, everyone's being mean to me. I'm just trying to be nice. Man. Maybe Adelaide and uh, Nicole here are better off for each other than we knew. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bryce and Emma are just like, let's just play some football here. Oh boy. She's running away, Emma is. all. <laughs> wow. Adelaide, I didn't know you had it in you. <laughs> oh, they're enemies now. Holy cow. <laughs> I better make a note of that. Okay, well, on that note, I probably should just stop them now. <laughs> oh my god. Did you see that? Tiffany and the- Oh, and they're fighting outside. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. It's just an all-out brawl here. Holy cow. <laughs> Come on, Nicole, are you gonna win? They're already done fighting outside. I wonder if Adelaide won. Oh no, they're still fighting actually. Ooh, Adelaide won again. <laughs> I have the mod in that the more they fight, the better they get at it. So, <laughs> oh jeez. Bryce is just like, yeah, this is what I came here for. <laughs> They're having a long fight. They must have somewhat equivalent body level, because... <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> oh wow, he finally won. <laughs> well, alright, that's enough of that. Y'all can go. <laughs> go away, Tiffany. <laughs> Where did Adelaide and them go? Okay, yeah, so Mally's gonna be asked to leave as well. How is it already 6pm? Holy cow. <laughs> All those fights have really got them to They really distracted me with that. I'm sorry, Mally. You're too nice to be with this crew. Go home. Let's have them go and drink some beer with the Bryce and Adelaide here. I think they're uh, of like mind, this crew right here. <laughs> He's like, it's great to meet someone new just as grumpy as I am. Oh, I forgot Emma is even still here. <laughs> Alright, why don't you try and talk to Adelaide a little bit. I'm not gonna nudge them too much, but I'm just gonna see if they get along. Which they should because they're too chemistry. <laughs> He's like, look, I have a lot of jewels and money compared to you, a <laughs> lonely maker. I have a weekly market, I can sell your goods at the market. She's like, yeah, I totally won this fight today against Mally. It's like, I did too. I beat up Tiffany. Wow. All right, enough of that. Go say goodbye to everyone. All right, it is business time. So you've seen the weekly market already. And if you haven't, then we are going to see it in just a minute. If you haven't seen it, 
this side is just kind of a plowing of the field side, lots of hay, that kind of thing. There's a chess table for people to hang out and um, deal with. There's a grill and some don't wake the llama over here, which isn't clickable, so I'm going to have to figure that out. There's some bathrooms and showers for people that need it, a fridge, a pottery wheel, which I might get rid of, we'll see. And then this is kind of like the community garden. Um, it's not functional at the moment, but I may make it functional eventually. But for now, it's just kind of like a little grocery store under here. You can see that's where uh, Sims would come to buy their groceries. And so he'll just be manning the register. Oh, and by the way, while we're waiting for other customers to show up, I did roll for the activity that he likes to do within sports, since he is um, his one true hobby is sports, and he likes to play soccer. So I think when we can, our status item that we will get him, as long as it's not too expensive, because I don't remember, but we'll get him a soccer goal and let that be just something either on his lot or on his community lot that people can play with. Yeah, first simoleon, look at that. Let's zoom out a little bit and see where we're at here. Holy cow, he's already rank one and he's been at the business for like the morning. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're getting that soccer goal. What should we get with the rank one perk? I do want to do the money, but I actually think I'm going to do the wholesale discount because I do have some things that I marked for sale that would be restocked by him paying for it. So I think in the interest of buying things for a little cheaper, we're going to go with that. Shocking to know, <laughs> but maybe next time we'll do the money if we need it. Wow. Holy cow. Emily bought a ton of stuff. That was like 500 bucks. Oh crap, he's got a customer. Don't miss your customer. Hold on, Ivy. I'll be there momentarily. Ivy Cobra's back to buy more. She's like, wait, I forgot this. Wow, he is like really doing well. <laughs> Apparently grocery store is where it's at in the medieval world. Okay, you have to stop stocking. You have two people in line now. <laughs> oh, it's Anna Dunn. I don't know if she should end up with Nicole Gray. <laughs> I'm gonna, we'll see. We'll see what his chemistry is with her. Holy cow, he's making so much money. All right, be the cashier real fast. You need to Check out Anna Die here, see if you have any good chemistry with her, just in case Adelaide doesn't end up being an option for him. Plus, it's getting dark, he needs to go home. I can't wait till he's faster at the cash register, holy cow. <laughs> Ooh, no chemistry. Alright, he's gonna go home. He's like, I run out, get out, go on, get away. All right, he can harvest some of his goodies here. Harvest some parsley and coriander and rosemary and thyme. Isn't this just a totally different image? He's like beaten up on people that are trying to welcome him to the neighborhood. But then he also has a lovely herb garden that he loves to pick from. <laughs> it's the next morning. Nickel is up and ready for the day. He's gonna have just a little bit of a breakfast. I'm gonna have him go to his business, but we're gonna end it a little earlier today so that he can invite Bryce and Adelaide over. Since the, he got along the most with them and he wants, he wants some flirts and kiss and you know, he doesn't know that Adelaide's interested in a military barrack man. He wants to play some chess, I suppose he can do so. He already maxed the skill though, so he won't gain any sort of skill point from it, but he needs the points, the aspiration points. Who 
Who is this? Marilyn and Hamilton. Ooh, it's Barrett Sadler. Maybe he heard that uh, Nicole Cream is interested in Adelaide. And he brought friends. Oh, God. Quickly. You're going to lose customers. Ah. Well, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Was he just having hearts for Joseph Avery? <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot to buy his soccer thing. His soccer goal. I'll have to do it when he's home. <laughs> since he's not going to stay as long. My computer ended up freezing, so things might look slightly different. I had to replay through the day um, bef from before he got to the lot. So he's back to a rank two business and the customers are just a little different. And I'll upgrade the, the like I'll give him another grocery bin as well. So it'll it's back to kind of where it was. We'll see if I can sell to Christy Stratton here. And then he's going to actually just go ahead and end the business day. Uh, I don't think he made quite as much money with me having to replay through at this point, which is unfortunate, but he can always come back tomorrow and get more. At least he made it to rank two again. I was worried that he wouldn't. <laughs> Nicole is back, so we're going to have him throw a house party and get some food together for them. The interesting thing that I noticed while I was waiting for him to get back from the, the community lot, he has two chemistry with Emma Martin now, which adds a development basically because if he and Adelaide don't work out, because Adelaide already is kind of having a thing with one of the military guys, it's like he still is okay because he has Emma as well. So we're going to invite both of them over and just kind of see chemistry wise how they do oh Emma's the only one that showed up maybe I should take that as a sign <laughs> huh he's trying to impress her with the roast fowl and before I forget I'm gonna give him a soccer goal maybe they'll do a little pickup game get to know each other with some friendly competition or not so friendly since it's Nicole we're talking about <laughs> and all they're getting is minuses on their conversation right now <laughs> oh she's back to one chemistry no he's like you know what after I've sat and had some turkey with you not as impressed all right come on you can do it it's a snoozer still <laughs> you and Emma may not be perfect matches here but at least you can play a pickup game of soccer See if Emma can do better. She's stretching too. All right, he is getting pretty exhausted. So. Let's have them chill for a second. Get to know each other a little more. Okay, I will see you in the morning. The rest of it's just needs. Nicole just woke up from sleeping. He slept in quite late. He didn't get to bed till about three in the morning. <laughs> I think today he will do the normal sell business stuff. And then we're going to invite Adelaide over this time. And we're going to see how he likes Adelaide, which I have a feeling is going to be a lot more than he was like in Emma. We can start preparing for the day, restock some items. As much as you can anyway. I know I'm gonna fill it back up, okay, Sandy? Emma's back. <laughs> Emma can't get enough of him, but he's kind of like, dude, stay away. <laughs> Lady, I don't like you. Not as much as you like me, anyway. Let's see if he can stock it, even though they're like right in the way there. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna be able to, yeah. That's okay. Oh good, he just went off to the side for it, good. Who was doing hearts? Why is she too chem- Oh, I know why she's too chemistry when she's here. So look, he, his turn-ons are formal wear and makeup. She has makeup, but she is wearing formal wear right now, which is why she's at two star, or two chemistry. When she shows up in formal wear, he's very impressed and attracted to her. But any other time he's like, who are you? <laughs> he did a lot of restocking today, so hopefully he can sell a lot. 
make up for that. Yay, he finally has a bronze badge for the register. Good. He needed that. <laughs> Oops, who else is here? Oh no, it's his, his enemy. I don't know, are they official enemies? I don't think they are. Doesn't like her, but he definitely is not quite enemies yet. Yet. I don't even know if he should talk to her, to be honest. It won't end well. Tiffany, I think, is doing better with not talking to her. She's close, but that doesn't mean she'll get it. But you never know. Yeah, she's still bought for me. She's like, I might hate you, but you're the only grocer in this town. Perfect. <laughs> Did you see that cringe? She's like, oh, Sandy Broody, yeah. Nasty. Okay, Sandy doesn't like to be talked to. She's like, leave me alone and I'll buy stuff. But if you talk to me, I'm not going to buy anything. I'm sorry, Sandy. I'll leave you alone. Okay, so. Surprise! There's the fairy. <laughs> there's the back of her anyway. She's dressed. I believe that's her formal wear. So let's take a peek at her hair since she's shown up. So she is not restricted from community lots. So if anyone wants to meet and befriend her, they need to meet her on community lots. She is not allowed to visit or walk by any of the houses. And if you remember, the reason you want to be friends with the fairy is because you get access to the supernatural gardens from becoming her friend because she's the one who owns and takes care of that area. If you want access to that lot, which has special supernatural plants, for example, the cow plant or life fruit or plasma fruit for uh, vampires. Those are just some examples that I can think of off the top of my head. But she is the one that you want to get to know in order to be able to visit that lot. So it's kind of exciting that she's here because she's so pretty and I love her. And I used the fairy mod from Ma, uh, from Midge the Tree, and I will link that so that anyone who's interested can go ahead and take a look. Nickel probably needs to end his business soon. Yay, rank three! So we get another status item. He is rocking it, man. So before, one of the status items was this shelf here. Was I too slow for her? No, I was too slow for her! <laughs> No. All right, he's a supernatural fan, so he definitely is gonna go straight to uh, Miss Layla here, and that's her name, by the way. I didn't think I mentioned it, but it's Layla Winterclove. Dang it, he got to rank three and immediately went back down because Toshigo has like no patience. Hey, there it goes. Okay, quick, <laughs> quick, get the benefit while we can. <laughs> So I'm going to give him another uh, bargain hunter type one just because he has to do restocking from the catalog essentially. You're going to talk more to Layla. No chemistry with her, so interesting. So I'm trying to decide, this reminds me, I'm trying to decide if we should play her as a part of the rotation or just leave her as like... A figure that's out there and people can be friends with and be a part of her garden but not necessarily someone that we play with so let me know in the comments if you have a preference either way because I'm still deciding on that all right come on Tosha go buy that and I need to go home I have a woman to impress so Nicole just got back from his business I bought him a status item which was a, another painting He's going to invite Adelaide over, but he's actually asking her out on a date. Adelaide. Let's see what she's going to say. <gasps> Yay! All right, they're just going to meet at home. Come on into the house, Adelaide. Oh, he's using the sink. Let me get him to put a barrel in. That's one, one water barrel for the sink use. Come talk to her. In the bathroom, of course. <laughs> Prime conversational area. <laughs> He's talking about money. He's like, oh, I have money, baby. Believe me. I'm already rank three in my business. Let's see if they do anything on their own here. 
Who wants to go clean? <laughs> Are you trying to impress her? You're like, look, I clean up after myself. <laughs> Toss football is so romantic. <laughs> Fine, since they both like sports, I guess they can come outside where we can't see them. <laughs> I know time is running out. Right, enough. Your time is running out. Admire. Flirt. Let's do another charm. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at what Adelaide just rolled. She wants to fall in love with Barrett. I'm gonna lock that in for her. She does want to have a kiss with Nickel. She wants to, you know, just see. See what uh, the possibility is out there. But, I am very shocked. And I find it funny that she's accepting all these plays from Nicole when she would not let Lillian Linton touch her. She's like, I don't want to play with you. I don't want to mess with you. What are you doing? I'm trying to get this into the good date category because I do want to try and get them to kiss. She can fall in love with Bear all she wants, but for now, I want... Oh, no. Don't play that. Yeah. For now, I want them to just get maybe a kiss in and then just respectfully Adelaide is going to be like, you know, never mind. I'm not as interested as I thought I was. Oh my gosh, it's the middle of the night. Okay, stop. At least if we can- oh, she doesn't want to slow dance. No. Here, we'll see if she'll classic dance. Maybe she'll be more willing to do that. Alright, why don't you give her a nice hug and you're gonna say goodbye to her because it's the middle of the night and you really need to go to bed. <laughs> she wants to kiss and make out and not fall in love with them. <laughs> Alright, go to bed, man. Okay, it is Friday morning. Nickel is just having a bath here. He had to go down and collect more water buckets because he was out. But he's gonna finish up his bath, get a quick breakfast, and then we'll head to his business. So I was thinking, maybe he could still be with Emma Martin, and he's kind of grumpy and inappropriate, so I think it would be very much in character if he just made Emma wear formal wear every time she's around him. Because <laughs> he's grouchy and inappropriate, and I could totally see him being like, totally ridiculous like that and making her wear formal wear all the time because he's more attracted to her when she has formal wear on. Maybe as the last attempt with them we'll do a date between those two tonight and we can see if it goes a little bit better if he can get a first kiss out of it since Adelaide just wasn't as interested but in the meantime he has a business to run. And look who's back, it's Layla Winter Clove. My personal favorite. Her and Anna die just they tug at me. And Hubert. Hubert's another one. He's funny. Go away, Tiffany. I don't like you. Why don't we tell you to go home? Bye bye. Get out. You already bought groceries this week. You're fine. Get off my property. Thanks. Oh wait, why are those way over there to be stocked? What? Okay, I guess that's what happened. I was wondering, I had some like herbs hanging down the front side there and it just like disappeared. I was like, oh, okay, I guess that's where we're at now with that. And turns out it, the stock signs were like way over there. Probably because there wasn't room for it to fit there. So it just like bounced that way. Let's see if they show up back under where they were. I can't really see. Nope. Not that I can tell. I don't know where they show up then. Another random spot, I'm guessing. Oh boy, I need to restock all of these. Holy cow. No wonder he's got so much money he hasn't restocked anything. <laughs> yeah, bronze level badge for restocking. He is, like, smart or something. I don't know. He is really good. Hopefully they buy a lot of stuff because he just used all his money to restock. <laughs> Holy cow, a line three people thick. 
I can't believe how well he's doing with his business. This is like cake compared to the bakery that Adelaide had. Come on, Anna, he's getting you. Don't be impatient. Come on, go, go, go. There we go. I don't want to lose this. Nope, it's okay. It's okay, Captain Drake. You're the one with, who was super patient with Adelaide. Just be patient with uh, Nicole here. No. Is that a bad sign? I don't know. <laughs> They're moving. <laughs> Hurry. They're losing interest. No. Oh, I think Anna's glitched because he just paid. No, Anna. That means you took something for free. I think. Yeah, she's totally frozen. No. She just stole from me. She may not have meant to because she froze, but whatever. Still stealing. Ah, good. Yay. There's Emma. You think she's interested? <laughs> I think she's interested. Nicole's like, you know, I had my eye on someone else, but she's got her eye on someone else. Watch, see, it's back to one. When he, if he marries her, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna enforce a rule where she has to wear formal wear. It's mean and it's inappropriate, but so is Nickel. So it is the last day in fall, and I think Nickel's gonna be a little sneaky here, so. Because he's been pretty clever. So he's gonna stock some of his stuff because when I calculate the income tax, which probably isn't completely accurate, but all I do is I subtract where they started from where they ended. Or the other way around, I don't know, I'm tired. I That's what I use to calculate their income tax is that difference. So him being a little clever, he's gonna restock his shelves a little bit so that he's not quite taxed as much as what he would have been had he left it at say the 3400 that he has. So we're gonna go ahead and have him stock a couple things to try and you know just do some tax evasion. Totally not illegal or anything. What we'll start doing is he gets a roll every time to see if he gets caught or not and to see if he has to go to jail. It could be interesting. It could be an interesting storyline for him. Not that he used a lot of the money to restock. He could have done a lot more, but still. Nickel is back. He is going to just get some need filling done here. Whoops, someone's calling him. Oh well. It's gonna have to wait. And then he's gonna ask uh, Emma on a date. She's the only one interested in, in him, it seems. Because she keeps, keeps visiting, keeps walking by. Let's see if she says yes. We'll stick to home right now. She's like, of course I'll be right over. And he's telling her, well, I hope you wear that beautiful blue dress that I just love to see you in. It would warm my heart knowing that you wore the blue dress. And look what she showed up in. The formal wear. Oh, she knows. That was so perfect. I'm so excited. <laughs> Alright, go inside so we can actually see you. Go on. She's a fortune sim. Talk, gossip. They're gonna gossip about that townie. Whoever that one is, I don't remember. <laughs> Tickle. Charm and hit on her. Alright, we're gonna try first kiss. Well, they're friends. We'll see if it works. Oh no, she didn't mind. All right, you have to move slow. She's She needs to be, you know, she needs a slower pace than that. <laughs> Poor Nickel, he's just having no luck. I know, I know, it's embarrassing, but you're gonna have to try and move on. It, the date's not over yet, okay? You might get it still. Oh, she doesn't want to. Why? I know, I know, Nicole. I'm sorry. I'm trying. 
She she's uh, playing hard to get now that she knows you want her. Okay, good. She accepted the back rub. She's like, all right, I can do that. I can deal with that one. Ooh, denied. Denied the caress. <laughs> Holy cow, he is struggling. My poor nickel. Oh good, she likes the charm though. She's like, don't touch my face, but you can charm me, okay? I think after this... Oh, she's crushing. <gasps> she's crushing, so she might actually let him kiss her. <laughs> Maybe, should we try? I think we're gonna try. We'll tickle her. And then try for the kiss again. Get him to stop crying. It's already one in the morning. He needs to go to bed so he can meet the treasure in the morning. <laughs> but this is important. Yay, it worked this time. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I thought my computer froze again. <laughs> I was like, no! <laughs> uh. Okay, on that note, he's had a successful date. He's gonna say goodbye, go straight to bed. There's a little bit of time before the uh, treasure is here. And while he collects that, I'm gonna just skip ahead because I need to actually calculate what he owes. <laughs> Alright, let's bring over the treasure. So, I did my calculations and nickel owes 2,000 rent plus income tax plus the uh, tithe. So he owes a total of 2,633, but because there's no like 30, 40, whatever, we're gonna just do 2,615. I'll give him a little bit of a break there. Not only that, but he did a little bit of tax evasion by stocking his shelves on the last day. So he did a very small amount. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll a die right now and see or do a random number generator essentially to see if he's caught or not and fined. We are going to roll and see. So since Nickel is pretty smart, we're gonna say that if he gets greater than a three, then he evades the tax fine because the government didn't notice. But if he rolls less than or equal to a three, then he is fined and the punishment will get worse and worse. Ooh, so he got a seven, so he evaded, he was able to get away from the or he was able to evade the authorities this time so he lucked out <laughs> so much for watching like or subscribe if you want to i'm fire princess and i'll see you next time